The chloralkali process is an industrial process for the electrolysis of NaCl. It is the technology used to produce chlorine and sodium hydroxide, which are commodity chemicals required by industry. 35 million tons of chlorine were prepared by this process in 1987. Industrial scale production began in 1892. Usually the process is conducted on a brine, in which case null O, hydrogen, and chlorine result. When using calcium chloride or potassium chloride, the products contain calcium or potassium instead of sodium. Related processes are known that use molten NaCl to give chlorine and sodium metal or condensed hydrogen chloride to give hydrogen and chlorine. The process has a high energy consumption, for example over 4 billion kilowatt hour per year in West Germany in 1985. Because the process gives equal amounts of chlorine and sodium hydroxide, it is necessary to find a use for these products in equal proportions. Procedures Three production methods are in use. While the mercury cell method produces chlorine-free sodium hydroxide, the use of several tons of mercury leads to serious environmental problems. In a normal production cycle a few hundred pounds of mercury per year are emitted, which accumulate in the environment. Additionally, the chlorine and sodium hydroxide produced via the mercury cell chloralkali process are themselves contaminated with trace amounts of mercury. The membrane and diaphragm method use no mercury, but the sodium hydroxide contains chlorine, which must be removed. Equals membrane cell equals. The most common chloralkali process involves the electrolysis of aqueous sodium chloride in a membrane cell. Saturated brine is passed into the first chamber of the cell where the chloride ions are oxidized at the anode, losing electrons to become chlorine gas, 2 chlor Cl, 2 plus 2A. At the cathode, positive hydrogen ions pulled from water molecules are reduced by the electrons provided by the electrolytic current, to hydrogen gas, releasing hydroxide ions into the solution, 2H, 2O plus 2AH2 plus 2O. The ion permeable ion exchange membrane at the center of the cell allows the sodium ions to pass to the second chamber where they react with the hydroxide ions to produce caustic soda. The overall reaction for the electrolysis of brine is thus 2 NaCl plus 2 hours, 2 OACl, 2 plus H, 2 plus 2 nano. A membrane cell is used to prevent the reaction between the chlorine and hydroxide ions. If this reaction were to occur the chlorine would be disproportionate to form chloride and hypochlorite ions, Cl, 2 plus 2 OA CLA plus CLOA plus H, 2 O, above about 60 a degree Celsius, chlorate can be formed, 3 centiliters, 2 plus 6 OA 5 CLA plus CLO, 3 A plus 3 hours, 2 O, because of the corrosive nature of chlorine production, the anode must be made from a non-reactive metal such as titanium whereas the cathode can be made from a more easily oxidized metal such as nickel. In the membrane cell, the anode and cathode are separated by an ion permeable membrane. Saturated brine is fed to the compartment with the cathode. A DC current is passed through the cell and the NaCl splits into its constituent components. The membrane passes Na plus ions to the anode compartment, where it forms sodium hydroxide in solution. The membrane allows only positive ions to pass through to prevent the chlorine from mixing with the sodium hydroxide. The chloride ions are oxidized to chlorine gas at the anode, which is collected, purified and stored. Hydrogen gas and hydroxide ions are formed at the cathode. Equals diaphragm cell equals, in the diaphragm cell process, there are two compartments separated by a permeable diaphragm, often made of asbestos fibers. Brine is introduced into the anode compartment and flows into the cathode compartment. Similarly to the membrane cell, chloride ions are oxidized at the anode to produce chlorine, and at the cathode, water is split into caustic soda and hydrogen. The diaphragm prevents the reaction of the caustic soda with the chlorine. A diluted caustic brine leaves the cell. The caustic soda must usually be concentrated to 50% and the salt removed. This is done using an evaporative process with about 3 tons of steam per ton of caustic soda. The salt separated from the caustic brine can be used to saturate diluted brine. 
the chlorine contains oxygen and must often be purified by liquefaction and evaporation. Equals mercury cell equals. In the mercury cell process, also known as the kastner kellner process, a saturated brine solution floats on top of the cathode which is a thin layer of mercury. Chlorine is produced at the anode, and sodium is produced at the cathode where it forms a sodium-mercury amalgam with the mercury. The amalgam is continuously drawn out of the cell and reacted with water which decomposes the amalgam into sodium hydroxide and mercury. The mercury is recycled into the electrolytic cell. Mercury cells are being phased out due to concerns about mercury poisoning from mercury cell pollution such as occurred in Canada and Japan. Manufacturer Associations The interests of chloralkali product manufacturers are represented at regional, national and international levels by associations such as Eurocla and the World Chlorine Council. Laboratory Procedure Electrolysis can be done with beakers one containing a brine solution and one containing pure water connected by a salt bridge. Anodes are made ideally from platinum metals, which resist corrosion. Since corrosion is less severe at the cathode, it can be stainless steel or silver. See also, gas diffusion electrode. References, Greenwood, Norman N. Earnshaw, Allon. Chemistry of the Elements. Butterworth Heinemann. ISBN 0803794199. Holman, A. F. Weiberg, E. Inorganic Chemistry, San Diego, Academic Press, ISBN 0 12 352651 5. Further reading, Bomaraju, Tylak 5. Eros, Paul J. Sokol, Elizabeth A. 2007. Brine Electrolysis. Electrochemistry Encyclopedia. Cleveland, Case Western Reserve University.